this is a very good opportunity here because there are so many people from different research fields. I think the back and forth of ideas and the discussions, they may lead to some really new ideas. And particularly our cluster is about quantum physics, specifically about the application of quantum physics for bio and medical imaging and diagnostics. It's called TQUAN Translational Quantum Science. It's one of the unique um, points of this cluster that really physicists, geneticists and uh, people from the medical field work closely together with a common goal to improve treatment of patients in the future. So with these three places we, we, we bring together three particular strengths. Uh, on the one hand it's University of Stuttgart which is known for its competencies and strengths in natural science and engineering science. Then there is the Max Planck Institute for Solid State Research. This is a worldwide renowned hub for material science. And uh, University of Ulm has a long-standing tradition and is really high profile in bringing together natural sciences with biology and in particular medicine. We have two active construction sites right now. One is in Stuttgart and one is in Ulm. They are an integral part of, of the proposal itself. You could say that the whole proposal is based on these buildings. There is another one which is already finished and commissioned at the Precision Lab at the Max Planck Institute. Well, the Precision Lab, as we call it, provides essentially a noise-free environment for about 10 to 15 experiments that we operate here. In this way, we want to improve the, uh, the measurement and experimental capabilities and really move forward into new frontiers and uh, really push forward the fundamental limits that we can operate in. And this is what TQUANT is all about. This is a lab where we are preparing the ultra-cold atoms uh, by laser cooling, that's why you see the laser light in the back. Uh, we are reaching temperatures all the way down to 100 nano Kelvin or below. And in this world, the quantum world, uh, we can simulate many body systems uh, of new kind and we discover new states of matter and investigate them. We are going to focus on two key areas that will be very relevant to society. On one hand, we are going to unravel structure of uh, biomolecules that are relevant for development of new drugs. On the other hand, we are going to develop new techniques for MRI to make it more sensitive. And that means that scans of MRI will get sharper and will be faster. And that's also crucial for clinical research. We are dealing with diseases caused by mutations in the DNA, in the genomic sequence. And our role in TQUANT is to develop new tools to detect such mutations with a very, very high sensitivity and to bring it into diagnostic use later on. And that could be, um, in the far future, be of great benefit to the patients and some of these science fiction ideas that you would have a tiny little reporter system which does not harm the body but gives you information from the inside and gives you information basically whether your medication will work or will not work or um, uh, what's happening in your, in your body that you also understand more about life. It was very constructive. Um, so I enjoyed working uh, with the people in Ulm and Stuttgart. We would like to have some kind of lighthouse um, and this excellence cluster I think could be um, such a major attractor also for top talent. I think this is a fantastic collaboration because we are set to build new structures which are then going to be lasting structures. So it's not about specific research projects. It's about changing a way of thinking. It's this kind of paradigm change. So I really like the teamwork um, in this interdisciplinary context because we simply gain so much new knowledge and so many great ideas so that um, yeah, we, we could really move things forward. <laughs>